If you were to metaphorically tear open the Lugo Bridge, you'd discover it's built upon densely packed wooden piles. These piles are driven deep into the riverbed, and even when thousands of tons of weight are applied from above, pushing them down, the surrounding soil provides an upward frictional force, firmly holding them in place. However, simply placing bridge piers directly like this would lead to uneven settlement of the foundation. So, cleverly, you innovatively drove in iron pillars and threadstone slabs onto them, fixing the slabs together with iron nails. This creates a stable hole, a technique you call iron pillars through stone. To prevent the stone slabs from being washed away by the current, you also enclose them with huge rocks on both sides, thus completing the entire foundation. Next, you built the bridge piers. Since square piers not only directly face the impact of water flow, but also obstruct the passage of ice blocks when the river freezes, causing waterway congestion, you ingeniously devised another brilliant design. You changed the front end of the pier into a wedge-shaped water splitter, and wrapped the vulnerable tip with a layer of triangular iron plates. This not only prevents the tip from being damaged by ice blocks, but also allows it to cut large ice blocks into smaller ones. Therefore, you named it the Dragon Slaying Sword. Following this, the arches were constructed. You built wooden scaffolding between the bridge piers, and on this scaffolding, T-shaped stone blocks were installed. Once assembled, even with the wooden supports removed, the T-shaped stone blocks fit tightly together, forming perfect and sturdy arches. Next, the paving of the bridge deck also required meticulous attention. Faced with individual broken stone slabs, you continue to use the iron nail interlocking technique, connecting them into a robust hole. Above this, a layer of neatly arranged stone slabs was laid to enhance both aesthetics and walking comfort. On both sides, exquisite guardrails were crafted from balustrades and baluster posts. While preventing pedestrians from falling, the tops of the baluster posts were also carved with exquisitely shaped stone lions, each with a unique design. Pedestrians can count the lions here, which adds a lot of fun, or they can gaze into the distance from the railings, appreciating the unique charm of the Chinese scenery. Ultimately, the entire bridge was built with 11 arches, with the spans gradually increasing from both ends towards the center. This formed a multi-arch stone bridge with a rear arch rear pier style. Congratulations, you've invented